Hello everyone. So welcome to to this uh, class. There is this at Oban that I have had uh, a lot of questions about, and I decided let me make the video today. Okay. So uh, I think this Oban is not a difficult one, but where the challenge is is what I'm going to focus on. Okay. So I'm not going to show how to make the a cap or how to sew the stripes for the filling but i'm just going to show you what i used to fill and how i did the the dressing that is how i arranged it okay so that's what we'll be focusing on if you look at this um the one that is here for the sample is quite high i did not make mine that high but then you are still going to get the illustration and everything will be perfect so i want to use this medium to say a very uh, big happy birthday to our mother in israel mommy we celebrate you today we celebrate you for all that you are doing for the lord jesus we ask that almighty god himself will bless you to fill in the stripe that i prepared and of course, because I do not want it to be as big as the sample that was sent to me, I made it a little bit portable so that I can sell it, all right? So if I'm going to make it that high, it actually has to be based on a specification, all right? That is the person should be the person, should be the one demanding for that height, okay? But then to create your stripe is quite easy. You just cut your material. Anyway, you just make your size, but then, I use five five by 30 so uh the width of five the length of 30 is fine and then you cut your fiber and use your fiber to fill it make sure that it is not the pieces fiber you know there is fiber that is already uh, uh cut into uh pieces all right and they now uh, sell it as a, they sell it in kind of a measurement stuff it's not that type you buy the one that they used to make a duvet you know this fiber is the one they used to make duvet you know duvet they use in covering in bed uh -huh. so you buy that one i think in my market here they sell a yard of that fiber for 1500 naira. yes that is how they sell it sometimes they can sell for one seven for a yard okay so it depends on where you are buying from. For those people buying from Lagos, Aba, and all those places, you will get it at a very cheap rate. But for here, because I'm based in Delta State, worry is 1007. So when you buy, you just cut the, the size, all right? You want to fix into it. If you want it bigger, you want it to rise up, you know, look swollen and not flat. So you have to like put in the size that is bigger than your material like when you fold this material to sew now you get like 2.5 so if you are going to cut your fiber and you want it to be big to be high you can force like four inches into 2.5 it's going to raise it up okay so it will give you a better height so for me to uh, arrange i started by sewing down one which is first one and when i'm sewing that first one i'll sew it from the beginning to the end and do a, pop, a, a proper placement because when you are placing you don't place straight i've often uh, explained this in all my videos where i have to show how you attach your uh, top to the base i always explain that it's not proper for you to just go ahead and uh, fix your 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 top to the base on a straight line you are supposed to use a semicircle uh, uh, shape while you are fixing or transferring the top of your cap or the top of your gilly to the base so your line has to give a curve of that semicircle or in other ways your line has to assume the curve of a c like when you say a b c you see the way you write c that curve is what you use so which implies that there will be a low part and there will be a deeper part and then back to the low part like a mountain shape if you don't do that you are not going to have a proper uh finishing in your work you just have to accept that one okay so now that we have the first part fixed we'll transfer it to 
a dummy head but if you don't have a dummy head i don't think it's a problem you can anyway i don't know for all my students i always tell them to get a dummy head if you are learning from me i tell you part of the instrument your training instrument you need is the head of a dummy because it's very vital but then if you do not have you can just put it in your hands and dress it okay so now that we are we have our dummy head we just start we tie the cap to it it will enable us to see the fitting and the shape of what we are doing also help us to uh determine a uh, distance and where we want to stop because it's going to look like it's resting on a client's head okay so we are no we don't need to uh go ahead to sew this anymore we have already sewn the button is fine we are going to be using hot glue we are going to be using the hot glue the gun machine to fix um the remaining parts okay there's no part of it that we are going to sew if you look at the first one that we sewed down now you will see that there are some kind of alteration on the lines all right and it's not really smooth and you don't want that to happen at the top of your work all you need to do is to glue it bet me it's going to stay it's going to sit just ensure that uh, you pour out uh, a good amount of glue on it and please also make sure that it's not spreading out uh, off your work so that it's not going to create a kind of stain on it so you have to avoid the, uh, the stain but then make sure that you put a good quantity or a good amount of it to allow you to be able to glue on it properly and now remember that we are not gluing completely you have to uh, divide the left or the right hand side where you are moving to into two all right so you 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 determine how far you want it to go you can see where i put my peg there if you want to go lower than that of course you can go lower than that but that is the point i'm going to be stopping okay so every other one that i will be fixing i'll fix to that point and stop fix to that point and stop okay uh, i think i have just about five lines and the five lines they are flat i don't want it big so like i told you before i just wanted it to be moderate and again i i stretch it to flatten it because i do not want it big uh, whenever i make tutorials here yeah, i always have the mind that when i'm done with the training i should be able to sell it because that's uh, a way of getting my money back okay because we invest into what we do and when you invest into it you don't just want to suffer loss for what you are doing so when we are done with the training we look for a way that we'll be able to sell it okay so whatever i'm doing has to be according to the standard that i can easily sell so that's why they make it that high okay some people might love it and they might just say it's too high okay so that's by the way so we continue to uh, uh attach the remaining ones until we get to the final one when we get to the final one we are going to hold on a bit we are not just going to uh be in the east to fix the last one that last one is very important it's what is going to uh, determine the the good finishing of this work and so because of that we are going to uh, take a little time out to do one or two things on this one before we attach the final one and again please uh, you are not restricted to just doing like five lines or uh, six lines you can do as many lines as you want especially when you want it to be cashy you want it to cash attention okay so you can do better ones you can do higher one the higher uh, it is the more uh, uh, defining the, the 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 design would be okay so depend on what your client is asking for so let me just uh, take our time to welcome those people that are discovering us for the first time if you are discovering creative events international for the first time i am so glad that finally you were able to discover us thank you very much for choosing our channel to view this uh content thank you so very much please if you love our video 
do well to subscribe to the channel it's a way of showing appreciation all right it's a way of saying thank you you are not going to pay for it it's just a way of saying i like this content okay and another thing is that you can also just indicate that you like it by clicking on that thumbs up there to say i like it because the more people like the video the more youtube will recommend it to other people to see okay so please help me to like the video and help me to subscribe if you are a first timer on this uh, channel do not just watch and pass by thank you very much so now we are done with is remaining just one for us to add to this thing remember the first one we are not touching it we have four in between which means we use about six lines okay we have four in between the four in between is what i am sewing now i'm going to sew it down very tight anything that will make it um, um high i want to deal with it you understand so i'm going to sew it very tight try my best to remove all the fiber all right from the uh edges all right after i cut it now i'll pull the fibers or cut deeper into the fibers to remove them then sew it tight again to ensure that it's not going to cause any kind of uh, irregularity along that line any kind of, of saloon and all sort of things that can arise from not properly doing it so i'm going to make sure that i do it uh, very well so we are going to remove all the fiber we are going to remove anything that can stand on our way as obstacle anything that is not going to make it rest properly we are going to remove it and please in case you want to use uh, chest wording because i know that some people will say what if i cannot get fiber and i want to use chest wording well you can go ahead but then i would like to like give you some of the disadvantage one is going to be heavy with the fiber is very light very very light so um i advise that you use the fiber instead of uh, chest wording i think uh, the alternative i can give outside fiber should be foam all right for foam i don't even like foam that much i prefer working with fiber rather than uh, foam uh-huh so but it's a thing of choice sometimes we are restricted with the kind of uh, raw materials that we can easily get access to so i'm using this medium to say if you can get access to uh, fiber please do not choose foam over fiber get fiber fiber is the best for this work okay so we are now going to pull it off uh, the dummy's head and then use our hand needle to sew it tight down okay don't joke with this particular part especially if you are having a higher one the higher the tougher yes so you sew it down make sure that it's properly uh stick down make sure you sew it down properly in a way that it will not have a chance to like alter the flow of the top one because that is very uh important so when we are done sewing we see that all right it's resting uh properly and it can easily be covered then we go ahead place it back on the dummy's head and then we'll go ahead and fix the the last uh, part to it so all we need to do when we are done is to attach our handle so to fix the last part we will go we are going to fix the last one completely all right this is just it completely so that's what you just need to do you fix that one completely completely yes like this and you see that you have a very uh, good finishing how do you fix you are just going to glue you don't need anything extra just go ahead and glue it to it make sure that you are, are generous with the glue uh-huh because if your glue is not enough uh it's going to you know sometimes 
even the glue gets tired and it will give way at a point but if you have it enough it will not give way easily okay so that's just it so i believe that um you can watch the remaining part of this video and you will understand it then one more thing if you look at it at the edge there is a design the reason you see that design there is to cover whatever has transpired at this point where we had to cut off the remaining ones you understand so that's why you have a brush any form of embellishment that can help you take care of that place that brush or embellishment you are using there is staying there as a design number one but most importantly as a cover to the rough work okay so that is it for today's video thank you for staying tuned to this particular channel even up to this point if you have watched this video up to this point it simply means that you love the content please do not forget to hit on that thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to this channel sometimes when you do not subscribe to a channel you love you might not easily be able to find us next time so please subscribe thank you very much i'll see you in my next video and very importantly if you feel you have any question for us please drop your question on the comment section once i tune in and i see it i promise that i will respond to it so thank you very much i'll see you in my next video bye